now 904. It's so important to get specialized care as we get older. Yeah, the brand new Yukon Center on Aging in Farmington has a new geriatrics and healthy age program. We sent Lauren Richardson there to check it out. She's everywhere. She is everywhere. 80-year-old Jane Archibald wants to continue living a long, healthy life with her family. I like living, and I have two grandchildren whom I'm very close to, and um, I hope I go to 95. I would feel very good if I do because they'd both be through college by then. She started geriatric care four years ago and is a patient of Dr. Patrick Calls at the new Geriatrics and Healthy Aging Center at Yukon Health in Farmington. Dr. Call just, you know, I felt he touched on every possible thing that might be in my mind as a question, uh, such as, you know, mental cognition. In Connecticut, we have about 80, 85,000 residents over 85. That is going to increase substantially in the next 25 to 30 years. So the healthcare system has to be prepared to take care of those patients and to take care of them in the optimal ways. The new center is located at 21 South Road in Farmington, very close to the main campus and easily accessible. The whole ground floor is dedicated to geriatrics and geriatrics related subspecialties. Uh, it's brand new space for us. Um, it has street side parking so that you don't have to deal with a parking garage. There's no cost parking here. It's easy to get in and out of the building. I thought it was very organized um, as far as I could see. It seemed very clear to me to come in and the parking is easy. It's coordinated multidisciplinary care for older adults and Dr. Call says geriatric care is on the rise. We have a cutoff for primary care patients at age 65. In reality, I feel that most geriatrics care is actually for patients older than that, probably patients in their 80s and 90s. And there are an increasing number of people who are living into their 80s, into their 90s, and into their 100s. And it's very important to get that specific care for several reasons. It's also important to take care of your health because Things that you can do to protect your health will generally have you live longer and generally will have you be healthier and more independent and able to do more when you are older. The center here specializes in so many different departments, including physical issues. Hearing loss is common and with increasing age. Uh, sometimes it's very minor, sometimes it's more of an issue. Uh, so having an audiologist right here in the building and having patients have access to that service I think is, is, is very important. We're very fortunate to work closely with our urologists who can help patients uh, decrease, either completely uh, eliminate their incontinence or very likely decrease the frequency and, and how much of an issue that is for them. As well as memory loss and any behavioral concerns. First of all, you want to have the right diagnosis. Uh, and then secondly, you want to have the right treatment and then thirdly, for memory-related issues, particularly if they're more advanced, there can be a lot of care issues that are needed for a person at home, maybe community care issues. And there, too, we're very fortunate to have a dedicated social worker who works right with us here in this building. And, and that person can connect families and patients with all sorts of community services that can be helpful. And it's all conveniently in one space. Well, nutrition is very important for good health. Uh, this is true for people who are older also, so as part of the program here in Geriatrics and Healthy Aging, we have a nutritionist that we work with, and so we can refer patients to her if they have questions about diet, uh, diets that can promote optimal health as, as they get older. So circulation issues, particularly arterial circulation, venous issues too, varicose veins, poor circulation to the legs. Uh, so we work closely with our vascular surgeons, uh, referring patients to them, and, then, and as I mentioned earlier, we coordinate care with them working in the same space at the same time. Also working towards the future. We're in this space to provide care, but we're an academic health center, so we're also in this space to educate Connecticut's future healthcare workforce how to best care for older adults, and we're also in this space to do research to determine what that care should look like and making an impact in many lives. The service that I've had here, I would recommend heartily, with full heart. It's just good.
If you would like to learn more about the Yukon Center on Aging or to request an, an, an appointment, visit health.yukon.edu slash aging. Right there.